Hello, Ruby Newman here, May 1st, 2020. I am scared. You want to know what I'm scared of? I'm scared that all of my memories that I've collected over the years and the decades are going to get... Something's going to happen. Something's going to... My house going to catch fire. Or... You know, some major catastrophic tornado is going to rip through Kalmar and everything that I've been collecting, that I value so much. These little odds and ends are going to be... So what am I doing about it? Well, <laughs> up until now, I've been keeping them in a lockbox. Hopefully the tornado's too... Uh, too powerless to, to lift that thing and take it. And if it is, it might end up in somebody's yard. Um, or the fire will, it, it's got a 30 minute last time in the fire. Yeah. And since the fire department's across the road from my house, hopefully this thing won't burn for 30 minutes before somebody douses it. So it should be safe in there. You know, I don't know. I look at stuff and I'm like, what happens if, because people, um, People have lost valuable, precious memories. But they come out of that with gratitude that the things that are the most important to them haven't been lost, like people. And yet pictures and memories and papers and letters and things like that have disappeared. And, and yet I find myself in a place when I go through, like I'm going through today, memories and papers and pictures and cards and stuff and I'm like how much am I invested in this stuff so that's what I'm thinking about today but I'm still spending time to organize and to put it into something and I'm selfish I hope I never have to go through that um, but it's weird because for somebody that's lost people in their life, why is she worried about losing stuff? I seem to have lost stuff, the things that are the most precious to me already. Um, wow. So I can look at, look at paperwork and things, and odds and ends and magazines and think, are they any less than, than what I've already lost and what I've already lost I've, I've somehow come to a place where I'm okay still so that being said if something happens to my house if something happens to my stuff my pictures, my memories all these little odds and ends that I've been collecting over the years letters, journals journals Lots of journals. Like, I don't know what do I do with these, right? Memories, right? But if, if it all goes up in smoke, will I be able to stand beside this, the ashes and all that stuff and still have some gratitude? I hope so. <laughs> but until that day, I'm going to be like some people are. Uh, a memory hoarder. So today I'm I'm going through my hoard of memories and collecting them, putting them together, putting them in a venue where I can look at them hopefully once in a while and 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 just treasure them. But if it's if it's all gone one day and I don't have those treasures anymore. I hope. I hope that I realize it's all just stuff. It's all just memories. I mean, a lot of memories are still in my head, right? Some of these things, they're in there, but they've, they've dissipated. So today I had a memory that came back to my mind because of this paperwork that I'm diving through. And what a precious memory that was. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping today that, that I'm, I'm thankful and grateful that I still have a lot of these memories and little hordes of things and pieces of paper that I've collected over the years. 
but I do. I, I really honestly want to be thankful um, that I can I can look and say, you know what, I'm 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 thankful that I can I can be I can rise on the other side of loss and find a heart of gratitude. So I hope I get there. And I'm thankful that after losing so much in the past and going through those times of loss that I still have a heart of gratitude today that I can still say I'm thankful. Thankful for the memories, thankful for the people, thankful for the places, thankful for the jobs and say I am a better person because of all of it.